Okay, so the next theorem that we are going to look at is that um, the parallel lines um, I'm going to say are equidistant equidistant Equal, no, I'll spell that either. Equidistant. Okay. Um, I just want to be fancy and use a fancy word actually, but um, I also just want to introduce you guys to this common um, prefix, equa, whatever. It just means equal. So, what do you guys think we mean when we say that parallel lines are equidistant? Excellent. That's I couldn't say it better myself. That no matter where I am on a parallel line, okay, the distance between at every at every point must be the same. Okay, but not just the normal distance, the perpendicular distance. In other words, if I take The perpendicular here and the perpendicular there those two distances are the same okay <clears throat> okay so given this sketch where we know that this is parallel to the, this okay in this proof to prove what will be my to prove that AC is equal to BD in other words this perpendicular distance would be equal to this one and remember, this is only true on a flat surface. As soon as my surface curves, then that's not true anymore. Okay. Well, not necessarily. Okay, and in order to do this one, and this one is going to be your turn to use... Um, congruence, to prove it. To do this one, you either you construct line AB. It can be AD or BC. Just the point is you are going to make you are going to make can you see that it's very light. You are going to make a transform this into two triangles. And again, if you can show that A, B, D is congruent to what? What would be the equivalent of A, B, D? A, no, D, C, A. D, C, A. C, apparently angle A must be equal to angle D some reason okay good you're on the right track so we're going to just construct line AD and you must now use for me congruence to prove that to prove that this is true if we know that this is true then we know that this side and that side must be equal AC as you can see there CA or AC must be equal to BB okay try that get the proof Okay, so what we see here is that um, to prove that these two are, we've got the option of either doing side, side, side. Problem is we don't know whether side AB is equal to CD. We don't know if, if this distance is equal to that distance. As a matter of fact, that's what we want to prove. So side, side, side is not going to work. Okay, we've already got two sides missing. Uh, that what we can see, however, is that we have one side in common, 
we have another angle in common and then hopefully you can see this the z okay we've got alternating angles so we've got two angles and a side so so that makes it easy side angle angle so let's start first by showing that the sides are equal ad is equal to da okay let me, let me do this okay the reason why i'm saying ad and da is because i'm keeping that order do you see i don't say ad is equal to ab you could it's not wrong but i'm keeping the order that from a to d in this triangle in the first one a b c D. If I go from A to D, the equivalent one is D to A because angle A corresponds to angle B. Okay, it's not that important, but I'm doing there. Okay, two, I know that um, angle ACD is equal to angle um, ABD is equal to 90 degrees so I didn't give a reason here that reason is it's a common sign okay these two equal 90 degrees and the reason why why are they 90 degrees that's information that was given okay we started by saying that we are working with the perpendicular distance between the lines so we know that that um, this angle is the perpendicular distance. So that's given. And thirdly, angle BAD is equal to angle CDA. And that is because of alternating angles because AB is parallel to C. Um, I said C A B angle C A B is equal to angle B D A. Okay, so you made the same mistake as Carl. Because look which sides you are assuming are parallel. You are saying this is parallel to that one because look where your where your M is you see okay and it's not wrong it's wrong in this case because you haven't first shown that BD so you would have had to put that BD is parallel to AC and you can only do that as if you first show that this plus that is 180 remember parallel lines um, in um, in Euclidean geometry are lines where the co-interiors add up to 180 so to show that something is parallel you first have to show that the co-interiors are 180 then you could use alternating angles I think okay, so be very careful that really often happens with alternating angles it's very uh, difficult to um, distinguish sometimes Okay, so in triangle A, B, D, not in triangle, triangle A, B, D is therefore congruent to triangle D, C, A. And why? Because we showed that we have a side and two angles that are equal. Now that we have that, we can conclude that side B D is equal to side C A. That's what I wanted to prove. A C is equal to B D or B D is equal to C A, no matter which way we're find. Okay, why is this true? Why can we now say that this line is equal to that line? The two triangles are not the same, they are congruent. So we say from congruence.